recovery is very hard for all of us. It really is. If you're an alcoholic and you drank for several years like I did, it is hard to get sober one day at a time. It really, really is. So kudos to you. But there's one thing that really created a big issue in my early sobriety. And I'm talking about from, say, day one to about maybe three years, four years. And I didn't even realize I was doing it. And a lot of us come in to recovery. We have low self-esteem. We might have a job. We might not have a job. We, not for myself, I lived at the Y. I was just this close for being on the street. I had a low point of, a low a view of myself. I felt that I wasn't worthy of good friendship, a good life. I felt, you know, that this is as good as it gets. You know, my life is pretty ruined. You know, I was a mess when I came into sobriety. I was a mess and I felt pretty low about myself in all areas. But there's one thing I did in early sobriety when it came to my family, it came to my friends, it came to my work life, my girlfriend, my in-laws, whoever it was, I became this person that I needed approval from other people. Or I thought if I agreed with other people, they would like me more in life. They would like me more. Yes, you know, I, I get that recognition. So what happened to me is I became a people pleaser or an ass kisser. I really, really did. I wouldn't say no if my mouth was full of, you know, full of it. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't to anybody. Well, I shouldn't say anybody, but a lot of people. Okay. And if you're like that, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. You need to sort things out and give yourself some time. Because what happened to me, I became a very angry person because I thought I was being used all the time. I became tired. I didn't have any time for myself. I was always running around kissing ass to people. It was a terrible, terrible way to live like that. But I thought that's what I should do at that time. I really did. I became a people pleaser and it was, it was really, really bad for me. It really was. It was a terrible experience. Through therapy and being in recovery, I became not so much a yes man. I understood the words, no. I understood that word. No, I can't do that. I don't have the time to do that. I'm too tired to do that. I got, I got to do this today. I got to go to the gym. I got to take my child to the park. I started to tell people back, what I needed to do. But sometimes, well, what I needed to do before I'd help them out. But sometimes a complete sentence is an easy sentence. And this sentence is a complete sentence. And what it is, is no. No, I can't do it. No, I can't be there. No, I don't have the time. No is a complete sentence. We don't have to be people pleasers or a yes person to everybody. We really don't. We don't have to do that. Okay. If you're getting your self esteem from, from that, you're going to have a tough time. If you get your self worth from doing things for people and becoming a yes person, you're going to be worn out. You're going to become passive aggressive like hell. You're going to be tired. You're going to be angry. You're going to feel useless and it pounds away at your self-esteem because I'll tell you why. Because when you're not agreeing with them or helping them out, they won't have anything to do with you. The only reason you're there is because you offer something to them. That's the truth of the matter. I learned the hard way. I really did. I really did. So I just want to say that, you know, I think it's an important thing to understand. I really, really do because we put ourselves in situations, especially in early sobriety, that are not good for us or we overextend ourselves because we think we need to do that. Well, you don't need to do it. Do what you can. Do what you want to do and you'll feel a lot better at it. Make sure your life is balanced, that your sobriety comes first, that your recovery is number one, your family is number one, those kind of things. The outside world can wait. They can wait for you to go out and help them out. Just do the best you can one day at a time, okay? That's all I wanted to say.
That's all I want to say, okay? It's Thursday afternoon in Ottawa, Canada. It's a wonderful day to be sober. Every day is a wonderful day to be sober. So if you're not celebrating your sobriety, what are you doing? What are you doing? Living in the sorrow? Is that what you're doing? Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay sober. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you can. And God bless you. And just remember, there's no I in team. Together, we can get sober. Together, we can have great sobriety. Build your community. Ciao or now. Thank you.